We're joined now by Congressman Ted Lieu. He's a Democrat on the House Foreign Affairs and the Judiciary Committees. Uh, thanks very much, Congressman, for taking the time to join us tonight. Thank you. Uh, you've been listening to our conversation here, the, the founders of Fusion GPS, the research firm behind, of course, the dossier, defending the dossier in the New York Times. They write, uh, we told the Senate Judiciary Committee in August that our sources said the dossier was taken so seriously because it corroborated reports the Bureau received from other sources, including one inside the Trump camp. Uh, we heard from Director Clapper, who said very much the same, corroborated by other sources, in fact, not discredited. But there was that line in there that caught our attention, including a source inside the Trump camp. To your knowledge, did the FBI have a source inside the Trump camp during the campaign? I don't have independent knowledge of that, but what I do know is whether or not congressional committees took action with this dossier, we do know Special Counsel Mueller has it, and he has all the information, in it, and he would know, and he has a lot of information that nobody here knows, and I expect more indictments to be coming this year. The other point that they made in here, as Manu was referring to, was that the, they warned investigators on the Hill to look into Deutsche Bank in particular, European bank, of course, in, in Germany, uh, the allegation being that Deutsche Bank served uh, as Trump's source of financing when other banks w wouldn't, wouldn't go to him, including real estate deals uh, from, from Florida to Toronto to Panama. In your investigation, uh, intelligence information you've seen, have you seen evidence of questionable business dealings between Trump and Russian entities? Well, let me say I am disappointed that Republicans of both the Senate and the House have not done a very good job in pursuing all the different leads that they could in this Trump-Russia investigation. But Special Counsel Mueller has. That's why he has, in fact, subpoenaed documents from Deutsche Bank. And so we need to make sure we protect the independence of Special Counsel Mueller's investigation and let it go where the facts may lead us. And you had said earlier in the interview that you expect more indictments this year. What led you to say that and who are you talking about? Uh, I'm a former prosecutor, and my view is that the guilty plea of Michael Flynn and his cooperation agreement is a game changer. Special Counsel Mueller would never have agreed to a one-count guilty plea if he didn't expect Michael Flynn to give him information so that he can indict other people. You wouldn't do that kind of plea agreement and agreement mm -hmm. to cooperate, and that's why I expect we're going to see more indictments coming this year. But who are you talking about specifically? Normally, you wouldn't have a guilty plea and agreement to cooperate with a big fish to get people under him. You would try to get people at his level or above him. Only a few number of those folks. So we'll see what happens in the coming months. All right, Congressman Liu, thank you so much. Of course, one of the people above thank General you. Flynn is the president himself.